Hey, everybody. Corrections 101 here. Hope everybody's having a great day. Sorry it's been a little bit uh, slow on uh, dropping videos over the last week. It's just been really busy still with the uh, continued storm cleanup uh, and uh, helping other people get their stuff cleaned up as well. So I do apologize. Uh, I will put my cash app and PayPal in the description of the video as always. If you feel like uh, supporting this channel, uh, if you like the content, Feel free to uh, send a PayPal or Cash App. Uh, every little bit it helps to uh, grow the content or uh, grow the channel and make uh, better content for you guys. So I have this idiot today. This, you know, he, I don't, I'm not sure if he's a full fledged frauder yet, but uh, he definitely watches a lot of frauder videos. Um, he goes by the YouTube username Otter99, has 95 subscribers, but, you know, these. These police officers get called to this house because, you know, uh, the caller said that three men were breaking into a house. They were committing a burglary or something, and he's not going to ID. And uh, he's just going to turn, he, you know, you, you can tell he watches fraudster videos. He's going to argue about everything. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Where's your fire on? So, listen. Where's your fire on? What are you talking about? The gun holster under the steering column. That's a holster. It's not a fire on. Okay, do you have a fire on? I'm not answering that question, dude. Okay, that's a stu that's a stupid idea. If you have a firearm on you or in the truck or something, you need to tell them. That is not smart. Telling them that you're not going to tell them if you have a gun. I mean, if there's a holster in the vehicle, that is a valid concern in this day of age with police officers getting gunned down for no reason. Uh, seeing an empty holster, uh, that's a valid assumption that there's probably a gun somewhere around. Maybe not, but a valid concern. Listen. Roll 44, do I have a supervisor available? Have I committed a crime? Not to my knowledge yet. Okay, so I don't have to ID. You do. No, I do not. Give me in route. Give me in route. This lie that they don't have to ID, even in non-ID states, or stop in ID states, as you could say, if they get a call, like in this case, where there's a burglary in progress or it has just happened, and they said there was three males doing it, and they show up and there's three males there at the property, they absolutely have reasonable articulable suspicion to ask for your IDs. They have absolutely every right to ID who in the hell you are. Are you calling a supervisor? Yeah, somebody refusing to identify. But I haven't committed a crime. Yeah, the, the whole investigation is the call. It doesn't mean a crime. I still have to identify who we're speaking with. That I, is all it is. I totally understand that, but I'm on private property that my boss owns that I have not committed a crime do you, do you on. Property? My boss owns do you, the property, bro. You, I'm asking you, do you own the property? I do not own the property. My okay. boss owns the property. I have not committed a crime. I'll give you my. I would glad. I would be glad to give you my ID, dude. If you had a reason to ID me. I do. What's your what's Has your reason? Been here for the call. For yep. cr the only reason this is not a stop and ID dudes. state. Tennessee is not a stop and ID state. I do not give up my ID without committing a crime, man. Sure, on a traffic stop. Do you know the Do you know the the fucking Fourth Amendment, the First Amendment? Yes. What are they? You talk about the Fourth Amendment? Yeah. Unlawful search and seizure. Yes. This is not what a stop and ID state. You're required to. Identify you're about to get. Yourself. You're about to get in some trouble dude Give me uh, ID. no he's not he's not gonna get in trouble <laughs> wah, wah, wah. because I need to identify who you are who you're saying you are because I'm here I never told you who I was a theft <clears throat> or a burglary however you would like to word that so, you suspect me of committing a crime? Yes. I suspect you're breaking into the house. So, I am here to ID you. Okay. To the confirm all parties involved. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then, once I debunk uh -huh. the whole, hey, you all are here lawfully, I've ID'd you. Mm -hmm. So, this guy, you, and you are who you say you are. Uh -huh. You're all here legally. And then I give you your IDs back and I leave. Okay. I mean, that's, that's, I, w I would be totally glad doing that if we're all on the same page we that are, you are within that's your. The, the, and that's the only reason I'm compelling ideas because I'm here to investigate a burglary. Somebody just saying. I've hey, just been informed by legal counsel, dude, because I have been, I've had. 
uh, his legal counsel is watching uh, frauditors on YouTube. He thinks that if he hears enough of these frauditors tell the same lie over and over and over that it must be true, that's his legal counsel. Bad run-ins with the law before. And I'm not here to do that. I'm here because somebody called in on someone breaking into a house. He just wants to make sure who we are. Okay. Yeah, I know. I totally understand that. And I just don't want them job. violating my rights. That's all. And I'm not here to do that. Okay. I'm here to ID everybody involved because I'm here investigating a burglary. I understand that. And it looks like... For a tyrant, he's being way too nice. I mean, I've, I would have already arrested him at this point. Uh, so, there's that. You know, something might have happened, but I'm Absolutely. trying to explain to you that that's why I'm, that that's why I'm on private yeah, property. We own this home. We're on private property. Right. right. I work right. for him, so I'm under his, you know, sure. he owns the home. Yes. That is all we're doing. We're just trying to identify who we're speaking with. It was simple as him. I understand that. I know it's simple, but I just, I just right, want to make sure that. Don't worry. The chief is getting ready to show up, and he's going to absolutely dunk on him here in a second. You guys aren't violating my rights right Nobody's now. Here to violate your rights. No, I know it, this just Tennessee is not. That's not how it operates here. But our the reason for us being here is to investigate somebody entering a house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's what the whole issue is. And I so have. If we can identify who we're speaking with, the smoother this will go. Well, the easiest thing to do would be to call my boss. He would give you the paperwork on this so home. We're dealing with your boss. We're dealing with you guys. I know, but thing. we're I on his property, though. Boss. We're on his property, Okay, that's though. fine, but you got, yeah, you guys are here, so we're right. dealing with you. Yeah, and it, what are they going to do? Call the boss and say some guy that won't give us his name says he has authorization, authorization to be here? No, that's not how it works. I'm, but we're on his private property, though. Okay, and the So shouldn't you deal with him? We're here, you are here. This, you are who we're dealing with. Okay, listen, I'm, I'm going to give you my ID, but I'm going to file a complaint, because I don't think this is... And I want all, do you guys have cards? Do you guys have business cards? No, 1449, there's my badge number. Okay. Officer Kincaid. Yep. And you? Hadron, 1448. Okay. I'm going to get his badge. Supervisor, right there. Okay. Okay, Hadron, 1448. I totally respect the law, and I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I just no, you don't. sure everybody's... just wanting to identify who. No, he doesn't respect the law or law enforcement. And no, he's not trying. He's trying to be disrespectful. Yeah, he's doing the nice thing. It's kind of the Long Island audit way of doing it. You know, being disparaging and all this stuff. And, you know, having a nice voice and all that. But he's trying to argue about absolutely everything. You're speaking with. Yeah. No, I understand. But, you know. Showtime. Yeah. What's up, man? I don't know. I'm on private property. My boss owns the home. <laughs> this younger police officer has that smirk on his face because he knows what's about to happen. Um, and they're trying to ID me. I'm just making sure that Come they're with, and talk to me. that they're within their right to do so. And well, you know. they are within their right because they got a call over here. Right. Yep. So otherwise, we wouldn't be here. Under, you know, a suspicion. Yeah, that's a suspicious audio cut there. He owns the home. Uh, he's he'll, he's flipping the home. If he'll verify that, we're cool. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Here, why won't you tell who you are? Are you a murderer? No, I just don't want y'all violating my rights. This is how not are, a stop and ID how state. Are we, uh, how are we violating your rights? Because this isn't a stop and ID state, and you have to have reasonable, what? articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime, about to commit well, a crime, or have committed a crime. Reasonable suspicion? We don't know I was trying to answer who your you question. are. And you're saying this is your boss's house. We don't it know is. who your boss is. We can't prove ownership. Well, he could probably give you the, the you know, the paperwork on the home. But where's he at? In Knoxville. <laughs> yeah, and see, there's another problem, too. You know, he's saying it's boss's house, so he's going to say, oh, we'll just call this random person who's not here, who can't show proof of ownership of the house, to say, yeah, that this guy who with no name can be there. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't know if you're supposed to be here or not. We can call him and say... This dude here says he's supposed to be here. Right. I know. I understand what you're saying. That's all you gotta I, do. And I just, I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page. Who dude, owns the truck? Is that yours? Yeah, that's my truck. Is it registered to you? Well, are you going to run my tag? Is it registered to you? I'm not going to answer. Cody. I don't answer Cody, questions. Just run the tag. That's illegal. No, it's not. I haven't committed a crime, man. 
Nope, they can run your tag for any reason. And as a matter of fact, in uh, especially large uh, municipalities like big cities, they actually have automatic um, plate readers in the vehicles. They read them to see, and then they'll uh, they'll get a hit or whatever on a vehicle that's his registration is expired or current warrants on the uh, registered owner, stuff like that. So they can run any uh, license uh, plate for any reason, any time that they want. So no, it's not against the law. This guy's a freaking idiot. That's not illegal. It is, dude. I'm going to file a, I'm going to file, file a complaint. File your complaint. I'm... Here we go. Going to file a complaint. Oh, these freaking idiots. I don't want it to go that way, man. Well, go ahead. I just want Knock everybody. Knock yourself out, brother. Okay. He owns the truck. And if you give us a number of your boss, we'll call him. That's what I was trying to, to do here. from the get-go, man. Well, hell, we don't know who to ask him who's supposed to be here. <laughs> you don't I don't know. know. Okay, guys. Yeah, this, this freaking idiot. He's the one. There's about 10 seconds of just random music playing over the video here for 10 seconds. So I'm sorry. Just deal with it for about 10 seconds here. He's an idiot. Well, why don't you I don't answer questions at all. I haven't committed a violation, traffic violation. You're not, you're running no. my bag illegally right now. No. Yeah, you are. I'm not even playing in this part. Dude, I just don't <laughs> want you guys getting in trouble. I'm looking out for y'all, really. You're looking out for me? Yeah. Why don't you just tell us who you are and I'll leave. But we know who you are. It's right? not, that's not how it works, man. Well, that's exactly how it works. So they can do their investigation, you dipshit. Okay, so if someone's breaking into your home. No, wait a minute. Stop yeah. right there. What do you do for a living? I'm a carpenter. Uh, I don't tell you how to nail boards. Don't you tell me how to do my I'm job. I'm not telling you how. Boom. And yes, he is telling them how to do their jobs. How to you do your job, sir. I'm not. This, yeah. It's Monday. I'm, I know. We just want to know who you are <laughs> so we can check and make sure you're supposed to be here. I know. Instead of me arguing with you, that's all we need argue. to do. I don't want to argue. Well, I'm not going to argue. It's I don't want to argue. argue. Yeah. See? So they can... I know you from something. See, even his buddies just saying, just give me your, uh, just give me your ID, dude. So we can be done with this shit. It's ridiculous. I know you thought. You look familiar. You look familiar, though. There's a dude <clears throat> running around. Another suspicious uh, cut in the volume there. There's a banner. No, no banner, banner grip. Banner uh, grip. Yeah, I went to school. My, uh, but anyway, my real dad's from what was the call here? Uh, 10 active 1035. Now this is a funny little burn here that the uh, he he does he's not going to catch on because he doesn't know the ten codes in Tennessee. Uh, actually, ten sixty seven. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I looked up because uh, yeah, ten codes are generally the same and pretty much everywhere, but they do differ a little bit in different jurisdictions. I looked up what a ten sixty seven is for uh, Tennessee, and it's a hostage situation. So he's saying we're actually now uh, ten sixty seven. We're being held hostage by this freaking idiot. So, nice little burn there, and you can see this officer smirking about it, because it's pretty funny. Anybody know who the boss is? Yeah. yeah Another suspicious audio cut. Yeah, yeah I've been trying you know to do that one. this whole time. Huh? What? I've been trying to do that this whole time, calling. Yeah. I've, Still don't know. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't tell us who you were. Yeah, I'm <clears> cop <throat> for this guy. And that's where he cuts the video. Uh, I guess he didn't want his boss on the phone. I mean, you know, it's all about transparency. He wants to know their names and badge numbers and put their shit all out there. But, uh, you know, make sure that uh, his name isn't put out there or his boss's name or anything like that because he's all about transparency. So, all right, guys. Well, it's a short one today, but um, it's hot out, everybody. It's really hot here in Illinois. I know it's hotter uh, down south uh, than it is here. So everybody stay cool. Stay uh, hydrated. Uh, make sure you don't get any uh, heat illnesses. Uh, like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube -y stuff. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video or the next live. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.